Hi, my name is Dania Davidson. I'm the product marketing manager for the C5125 microserver. A couple of large hosting customers came to the data center solutions uh, team and presented them with three challenges. One was that they wanted greater density from the product. They wanted to save on space, um, and they also wanted to save on racks. Two was that they wanted to save on power costs, so they wanted a highly power efficient um, product as well. And three was that they their, their workloads were very um, taxing or weren't very complex, so they didn't need all the horsepower that was out there on the market today. Um, so the C5125 is a third generation micro server um, that essentially houses 12 individual um, one socket servers in a 3U um, form factor. So you essentially get in each sled a one socket server that you would find in a 1U server. Um, so here you have the AMD um, processor ranging in um, TDP from 25 to 45 to 65 watts. You also get your four DIMM slots um, with the maximum capacity of 16 gigs. So you either have an option of choosing two gigabyte DIMMs or four gigabyte DIMMs. Um, and since these are very dense, we had to use a very low profile uh, dense, which is also known as VLP memory. Um, you get a choice of either choosing two, three and a half hard drives, or you could also choose um, four, two and a half hard drives. Um, as you can see, the sleds are all, the sleds and the power supplies are all in the cold aisle and they're all individually serviceable. Each sled has its own um, power buttons, so you can just power it off and keep the other ones going. So you don't have to affect any of the other ones to service or um, anything of that nature. And then, since we're sharing the same chassis, you share the power supplies, you share the fans, um, as well as the chassis itself. Um, so you have six fans that cool all 12 sleds, and then you get the two fans to cool the power supplies. And they are redundant. Um, obviously, they're not hot swappable. In the back, which is people are curious about, um, it's very simple, as you can see. It's very simple, as you can see. Um, we have just the fan cages for the fans, uh, for the sleds, and the fan cages for the, the fans for the power supplies, and then this is where you would put in your, your power cords. Um, also, I just want to point out is that you either have, have the option of managing each dedicated uh, server individually by one of the, the LOMs up here in the front, or you can just save yourself some money and just use one cable and use the, the LOM here. Uh, so for more information, please visit uh, dow.com slash